Hello horror fans and welcome once again to the Horror Obese. It's day 19 of my 31 Horrors of October. And tonight's movie is... An American... American Werewolf in London. Now, to me, this is one of my favorite werewolf movies. Um, it's, in my opinion, it's one of the best. It's got the best werewolf transformation on film. You can literally just feel the pain he's going through as he's transforming it. I thought that was awesome. It was great. Um, Rick Baker did an excellent job there. I don't think anybody could have. Um, well, maybe at, at the time, could have done a better transformation scene than than that. Um, the story, uh, story wise, it's a pretty good story. Um, you get these tourists who go to uh, this bar called. What the bar's called. Hmm. Well, anyway, and everybody just stares at them at first, and, you know, and they tell them to keep on the road. And while they're talking, they get uh, sidetracked. They get off the road. By the time they find out, they're being mauled uh, by this beast which at first they don't know what it is and the people at the bar some are concerned uh, that maybe they should have not let them go and others are kind of weary well you know they're on their luck and in the end they go and save them well save whatever was left of one of them and from there the movie starts first he doesn't know what's going on he just thinks they're like these lucid nightmares that he's having but he keeps ending up naked somewhere else you know until um, he realizes when it's too late uh, the nurse that was taking care of him in the hospital falls for him and she tries to help him but doesn't know how to and it doesn't help that he sees his dead friend who tells him that he has to be killed that he has to die and um other than that I don't want to you know say too much uh, the movie's great like I said it's got the best werewolf transformation in my opinion uh, I enjoyed it a lot I gotta say though, I have not seen the two features that it has, the full length documentary of, of Beware of the Moon, I haven't gotten to see it, and I've been wanting to, just never got around to see it, so uh, I really can't talk about that one, because I haven't seen it. I heard it's really good, and it's, besides the movie, it was one of the reasons why I got the Blu-ray, because of the documentary, I love watching those documentaries. and. Um, uh, I Walked with a Werewolf, other feature with Rick Baker. I haven't seen that one either. I will come around to it and maybe make a video about it too. But for now, hope you like what you see. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't, subscribe to hear more of my shenanigans and more of these horrible reviews. Until then, I will see you tomorrow. And hope everyone is having a good evening. Good night.